my channel or if you're new here make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below I post every other Wednesday at 1 p.m. in today's video I figured I'd give you a 0 to 100 glam transformation and I actually got inspired by fall coming up because we're already in September now can you believe it it's crazy I feel like summer just flew by but now we're getting into our fall chocolate mocha type of looks so I hope you guys enjoy and I hope this look gave you some inspiration for your makeup looks this fall. So let's go ahead and stop talking and let's go ahead and get into it. To start off this look, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and put it all over my face. This primer is a really hydrating primer. So in the fall, when your skin's getting crusty and starting to look dry, this primer is going to help those flaky flakes on your face smooth out and not stick to your foundation where you can see all of the crust. So I highly recommend that and it's super affordable. For foundation, I'm also taking the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation in the shade Natural. And I actually just got a new Morphe sponge, which I'm trying to open at the moment, which I can't. When I bought the giveaway sponge, I also bought me a sponge because I need a new one. So yeah, I actually really like this foundation. The only thing that I'm not fond of is the smell but it's actually a really good foundation if you want a natural glowy looking base for your foundation and this foundation actually works amazing with that primer so let me know what your favorite Starbucks drinks are or Dunkin Donut drinks for the fall season cuz I'm gonna try some more cuz like <laughs> They're amazing and not gonna lie, okay? So let me know if you guys um, try the fall drinks from Starbucks. And comment down below your drink you get. To brighten up my face, I'm going in with the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer in the shade Light Sand. And for the people that don't know what this specifically does, it actually brightens up your face to make your center of your face super bright. And then we're gonna contour, so it'll make your cheekbones very snatch and it's just gonna brighten up the whole center it makes you look more awake as well this is a really good concealer if you love full coverage and it's very affordable and I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that concealer up to my eyelid to work as an eyeshadow primer as well okay do you see how much better my face is already looking okay you're probably like no girl you look like a ghost it's gonna come together once I put all of my powders and my contour and bronzers on. Once we finish our concealer, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm gonna go ahead and place that translucent powder under my eyes. So I'm just putting that powder wherever I put that concealer. So it can go ahead and set the concealer to where it is not looking cakey, sticky, or any creases are going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that powder sit and do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. Our eyebrows are on. So now that I let that powder sit, I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush and just brush that powder away. And I did my eyebrows a little darker just because I'm doing a dark fall vampy type of look. So I don't want my eyebrows too light to where they're not matching my eyes with the colors. So if you're wondering why my eyebrows are pretty dark, that's why. To make my face glowy, I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill Face Glow Powder in the shade Carrots. I'm just taking my Morphe sponge and I just put some of the powder into the lid and I'm just gonna dab my Morphe sponge in it and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it pretty much all over my face. I'm going to focus it more where I like that highlight to go. So what this powder is going to do is it's just gonna give my face like this glow like no other. So it's gonna make my face look super glowy, super hydrated, and super not like we're living in the fall season, if you know what I mean. <laughs> This powder is amazing and I've had this powder for like over a year now and it's pretty much still full. So it's definitely worth the moolah. Now we're moving on to the contouring part which is gonna make my cheekbones look snatched. It's gonna give some contrast to the brightness of the concealer we put down. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Shade and Light Contour Palette and I'm taking that middle shade right there. And I'm 
also taking the M527 brush and I'm just going over my cheekbones with that shade. And I'm putting the same shade on my forehead as well and bringing it down to my cheekbones. So it blends all together and your face is looking very even for the color. And I'm also putting that under my chin and my jawline as well because I have a chubbier face and we want this queen to look snatched. If you want your jawline to look more snatched, put some contour under it. Now for my nose, I'm taking the same shade. I don't ever contour my nose, but we're going in today, okay? We're just gonna make our skin match, so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of that shade on the sides of my nose, just so it's matching, and I'm just gonna put it on the tip as well. Just so I don't have like a super white nose from that concealer. So it'll all just be matching and looking even, and it'll give a little structure to the nose as well. Now to clean up my contour, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that banana shade on the top row in the middle. And I'm just taking the tip of my Morphe sponge and just dipping it right in there. I actually got this trick from Jaclyn Hill, so shout out to her. And I just go ahead and go along the edge of my contour as if I'm taking a translucent powder and carving it out. And I'm just placing it there and stamping it in. And I'm also taking it on the very tip of my sponge and I'm just placing like a line in the middle of my nose. And ba bam we're snatched. So, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'm gonna let this powder sit and then I'll go ahead and blend it out with a sponge or just a brush and it'll take that white residue right away. So I already put on that concealer on my eyes so I don't need to go in with a primer today, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade Poof from the Dark Magic palette from the Vogue Collection from Jaclyn Hill. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp that so it can set that concealer in place and so it's not too tacky to where I can't blend out those shadows. To start off this look, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the shade Shh from the Dark Magic palette. And I'm just putting that in my crease and I'm just blending it up the eye. And I thought this palette was actually perfect to start off my fall makeup looks because like, who doesn't love Jaclyn Hill? And who doesn't love her Dark Magic palette? This color is like perfect too for like the fall type of glam to start off the fall looks on my channel. So yeah. The next color for this fall look I'm going in with is called Mojo, which is like a chocolate brown, perfect fall color. And I'm just putting that in my outer V and bringing it into the inner lid. Now that I stamped it on and I kind of blended it in, I'm taking the sh color again and just blending out those edges just so it doesn't have any harsh lines and they blend together flawlessly. Now that they're blended very nicely together, I know I'm looking pretty crazy, but we're gonna go ahead and save this look by taking some concealer and cutting my crease. So I'll be right back when that's done. Now that I cut my crease, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the shade Trickery. And I'm just gonna set that right where I put that concealer. Scratch that because that one actually didn't apply very well and I'm thinking if I put like a matte green, it'll apply better on the matte green. So I'm gonna actually go in with the shade Inside Job, which is this one right here. So I'm just gonna place that one. Ooh, yes, this one is way better. I'm just gonna place that one right where I cut that crease on that concealer. Now that I've kind of placed that messily on my concealer that I put down, I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with the shade Shh <laughs> and blend out that green on the top. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spritz one of my flat brushes with some setting spray, and then I'm gonna go back in with that shade Trickery so it can bring out that green that I put in my eyes. To brighten up these eyes a little more, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the shade 
Busted, which is this blue shade right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and place that on my upper lash line. Now I did have a little bit of fallout right like around here, but I put that blue on the upper lash line. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring that blue on the lower lash line as well. So now we're looking at pretty crazy, but I have to blend out that lower lash line so we don't look too crazy. Now that I just finished the eyeshadow, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my cookie highlighter from the Cheek Star palette from Benefit, which you guys know I adore and I love with all of my heart. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off with my cookie highlighter in the inner corner, which is gonna make my eyes brighten up and not make them look so enclosed like these dark shadows did. And it's just gonna give my eye a little pop. And I'm also gonna stick that on the brow bone as well. Now our eyes are finally done and I'm gonna go ahead and stick on some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, now our eyes are officially done and we have this fall green smoky eye look going on. I actually went in with the Valicia lashes. I actually got these off of Amazon. They were only like seven bucks for a pack of like seven pairs and I highly recommend those. And I actually already wiped off that powder that I put under my contour. I don't know if I told you guys or not. But I wiped it off, and now we're gonna go ahead and finish my face. I'm actually going in with the Madison Miller X Ofra palette, and I'm going in with that blush shade right here. And I'm just bringing that up my cheekbones and the apples of my cheeks. And I'm going back in with the Cookie Highlight, and I'm just going to take the JH42 brush, and I'm putting that on the tip of my nose and on the top of my nose my cupid's bow and i'm honestly just going to take my finger for this next part and i'm just going to press that into my cheekbones and i'm bringing it down to the apples of my cheeks as well so you can get that glow from the front and not only the side now that we're looking pretty glowy and honestly we look sweaty i'm going to take my morphe sponge and just dab that out Blend that out a little bit, just so we're not looking too sweaty. But honestly, you can't get enough glow, if you know what I mean. For lips today, I'm taking the Ofra X Bretman Rock Brown Lippy, and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with that. Now that my lips are aligned and overlined, as always, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go in with the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Flirt which is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks just because it stays on forever even if you're eating or something and it smells absolutely amazing and it's a beautiful color especially for fall and it is very easy to apply now the makeup part of this video is actually finished we're just going to finish it off with some setting spray and now the makeup is done so i figured for this hair portion of the video i was going to do like some waves curls straighten my hair or something but your girl got talkative and made this video pretty long so i'm going to go ahead and show you how i do my sleek top knot look so what i do is i make sure that my hair is all brushed out evenly especially where you're going to pull it up so you have no bumps or anything like that now what I do is I grab my hair super tightly and I just go ahead and I brush along my head so we don't have any knots or anything like that. Now that I have it basically in a ponytail, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to twist my hair and then I'm going to pull it tightly to one side and then another. I'm just going to keep wrapping it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and secure it with an elastic.
Now that our hair is pretty secured and we have this top knot sleek bun look going on, I usually take some hairspray or I take this smooth and seal from Smooth Sexy Hair and I just go ahead and I just spray my hair right where some baby hairs would pop up. I smooth them down and it's also going to make my hair look crazy smooth and crazy shiny and ba bam the hair and makeup is done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and to update you on the giveaway, my giveaway actually ends the 12th of September which is this Saturday for you guys and make sure to go ahead and enter if you haven't already. I'll put the giveaway details in the description box as always and I'll pop it up right here on the screen so you can go ahead and see what's in that giveaway. I actually introduced it in the last video and I have two giveaways going on, one on my Instagram and one on YouTube. And I'm going to be announcing both of those winners on my Instagram and personally DM you. So make sure to go ahead and comment your username and Instagram down below and I'll go ahead and shoot you a DM if you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I hope this gave you some inspiration for this fall coming up. And I love you guys, and I'll see you not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. Love you. Bye. Let's go ahead and roll these bloopers. Set the powder. Set the powder one. Focus. Oh, okay, good. And I spilled. Just so you know. I'm gonna go ahead and go in. Bye.